Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We live in a funny, funny kind of world, right? And perspective is everything. Now, one perspective we always have problem putting together is when it comes to religion, because then most of us are staunch in dogma and not willing to put aside what we have learned for so long to consider other facts. It's a very difficult thing. That's why people give in their life and blood and mostly their money to Israel. Because for them, they think that this Israel is the Israel of the Bible and they need to bless Israel or God will God will curse them if they don't bless Israel. But this isn't Israel of the Bible. This isn't Jacob. This isn't the family of Jacob. This is the synagogue of Satan from the Bible. Those given the tablets of Moses to uphold the law, what what Moses said, uh, Moses' tablets said, "Thou shall not kill," and yet they're the biggest murderers in the world. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Yet they lie and they make espionage and all these things. But same same false witness. And thou shall not covet. And they covet the land. They covet the homes. They covet what some people have been having within their legacy for over 2,000 years, they coveted and they want it and perspective is everything but this isn't about them this is about the perspective that Muslims lack for many years we have insulted, ridiculed, belittled Sheikh Imran Hussein but what I would say from a point of perspective is this that Sheikh Imran Hussein for himself has done more for this Ummah than the collective efforts of the majority of those who claim to be themselves Islamic scholars or Islamic leaders. And we may not understand why, we may not, may not understand how, and some of us, because of our myopic perspectives, would fail to acknowledge that. But it is the knowledge that he sought to teach us, to clarify for us who our enemies are, when our enemies are, why they are our enemies. It's that knowledge he sought to clarify for us that we rejected and refused to learn and we refused to put together to straighten this Ummah. It is that knowledge that has also helped him to know who our allies are, who our friends are, who we could turn to, who we could trust. And as such, his works and his efforts has not just turned the minds of individuals, non-Muslim individuals, towards understanding that Islam isn't a threat to them, isn't a threat to humanity, isn't a threat to Christianity, isn't a threat to anyone who seeks peace. And also to let them know that there's great benefits in understanding and acceptance of Islam Instead of fighting us down, work with us and peace will be achieved. And he has done that not just on an individual level, but on a global scale, a political scale. And he has been able to reach world leaders in an impactful way. He has been able to reach politicians and theologians and philosophers, those who influence and those who make policies for the future. That alone in itself has done so much more for this Ummah that alone in itself has put perspective into the minds of those who that perspective would be viable for the assistance of this Ummah and for those who care to remain in wandering ignorance and stupidity that's your business that's your prerogative but for those who wish to be enlightened I advise you stop being bewitched and being keeping your mind enclosed into tight boxes based upon you know tunnel vision based upon the sticking to what someone tells you you have to learn and accept as true and get your mind out of that gutter and start appreciating where we live when we live how we live why we live and how Islam works with all of that and how we have to make it work or else we get nowhere, then we become and can become bigoted, full of hate, misguided. We need to think. So think about these words seriously. <laughs>